In this video, we will be showing you how to install the belt assembly on a 900 and 1100 series brush mulcher. First, pry the rotor over to the belt chamber as much as possible. Put your spacers on the shaft, then put the taper hubs on the shafts as well. And with a straight edge, check if they line up within 1 8 of an inch. If they don't, make sure to add more or less spacers for both of the hubs to line up. Next, take the taper hubs off again and put the top pulley on. Decide with the widest taper would face towards you. Then put the taper hub on once again. If you have a two-speed motor option, the taper hub would go on first and go on the opposite way. The side with the widest taper on the pulley would also be facing away from you. Now put the bottom pulley and taper hub on. You will now want to slide the belt on. Install the keys. Start the center bolts. Put the taper hub bolts to the non-threaded holes on the taper hub, then start the bolts. Tighten the center bolts. Now go around and evenly tighten the taper hub bolts, and then jam the rotor before torquing the bolts. Torque them to the right specification. In this case, these taper hubs would have a torque spec of 360 inch pounds. Using a straight edge, check once again if the pulleys are aligned. If they aren't aligned within 1 8 of an inch, you will have to take one of the taper hub and pulleys off to add or remove a spacer. To remove a taper hub, loosen these bolts and start them in these holes. Then go around and evenly tighten them until the hub slips out of the pulley. But before installing the taper hub bolts again, make sure to sand the ends of the bolts down to prevent stripping threads. Once you have the pulleys aligned, make sure that the ribs on the belt are sitting nicely in the grooves of the pulley. Then you can tighten the belt. Evenly tighten these bolts on the top of the belt chamber to tighten the belt. The proper belt tension specs would be half inch deflection at four and a quarter pounds of force on a new belt and half inch deflection at three pounds of force for a used belt. You can then tighten the motor mount bolts. Keep in mind that the belt may get looser after you tighten these bolts. Check the belt tension once again. Then run it for a bit and inspect the belt before use. 